the Florida Keys are home to the third largest barrier reef system in the world. These corals support fisheries, tourism, and recreation activities that generate hundreds of millions of dollars annually, but they are facing an aggressive new threat. First detected near Miami in 2014, stony coral tissue loss disease is now, in 2021, found throughout the Florida Keys and much of the Caribbean. The disease is infecting and killing roughly half of the region's hard coral species, including pillar coral, a species listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. Dr. Cheryl Woodley and her team from NOAA's National Centers for Coastal Ocean Science are working to save pillar coral from the disease. Collaborative rescue missions have been collecting hard corals for safekeeping at nursery facilities. Diseased pillar corals have been going to Dr. Woodley's lab for treatment. One of the things that we've found is that certain antibiotics can be used to arrest their tissue loss. And we've put this antibiotic in a modified dental paste. And so we're able to actually apply like a bandage to them and it's been able to arrest whatever's been killing them. The researchers were able to successfully treat 176 specimens from the 208 fragments they received. Treatment methods and results are available in a new publication. These small remnants of once tall stately pillar corals now await a time when they can be used to restore the species to the wild.